Let's go, girl. Come on, girl. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a... Kyle! Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Kyle. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Well, 
Joining in? Uh, I think I'll leave the celebrating to the experts. Good girl. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. home now so everything's going to be okay uncle sean is back and don't you worry miss grimshaw you old crone i'll keep them girls in line if i have to whip them i will and don't you worry mr pearson you drunk old shitbag it'll be nothing but the the finest game in the pot now dead eye mcguire's back <laughs> And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots Arthur. of fun. Oh, Arthur. Are you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Mr. McGuire is back, so come on. I just can't Let's get rid of you, can I? Apart. Mind if I join you, fine folk? I suppose. You are looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. No matter what else happens, nothing. My feet sitting by the fire. You can. He's been for a long time. Enjoy the party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of you. Speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. Indeed. I am fear in the worst. Put my hand upon her thigh, mark well what I do say. She says you're getting pretty out of my diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my hand upon her ass, mark well what I do say. She says let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. <laughs> But how about something a little more civilized? Forget it. Ah, it's good to be back. I even miss you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to sell ants with me. What's that? Never need one of those on the difference between us. I think we're going to see you again.
Look at me. With the bell of the ball. Soft at you. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Good morning, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Good morning, morning Arthur. Too. Oh, dear My lady, this is gonna be a long day. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. All right, Arthur. Feels like Sean's been back forever. Problem with me? Good to see you. Be careful with the pages. Yeah, how you making out?
Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Hey, you'll be sorry you didn't buy it. Hey, move it! Careful! Howdy. Bar's open. Here's a belly full. Feel quite armed enough to go back out there? You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Thanks, partner. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? 
Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, there. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? 
safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chill out. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I... ...did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus. 
this, Jamie. Come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. I guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hank told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down a flat neck station. So drunk, he could hardly play. You ain't been through in a while. Got everything you need. Have a look. Now, let me see.
Last done. That should be good. Thank you, really. Forget to buy something? I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with Take long. to keep that whistle wet, huh? Have you been in town long? Well, you probably heard everyone talking about the curse here. <laughs> Maybe not. The folk hey, reckon Mr. luck runs bad in this town, and superstitious yeah. among them reckon that ain't no coincidence. Me, I reckon a man makes his own luck. Ain't no church, no curse gonna change it. What do you care anyway, huh? <laughs> Now that right there is about the most beautiful thing these poor eyes have ever seen. <laughs> Be still you can come back off. after a drink if you like. How you keep? 
Just get out of my way. Careful. Well spent. 